The job openings and labor turnover survey for June, also known as JOLTS, comes out this morning. Economists are predicting about 200,000 jobs were gained last month, while the unemployment rate is expected to stay put at 3.6%. As for the overall economy, some analysts are starting to see a bright light at the end of the money tunnel. Donald Trump is slamming special counsel Jack Smith as his legal team braces for a possible new indictment over his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The federal grand jury is expected to meet again today, but that's not a guarantee of an indictment. It does, however, signal that the special counsel is close to making a final decision one way or the other. Suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton is asking the court to dismiss most of the articles of impeachment against him. Texas House of Representatives impeached Paxton back in May for alleged misconduct, including allegations that he used his office to help a prominent donor. Paxton denies the allegations. West Virginia and Oklahoma National Guard members are heading to Texas to provide help at the U.S.-Mexico border. They will provide more security, prevent migrants from crossing into the U.S. illegally, and work to stop illegal drugs from entering the country. About 50 soldiers and airmen from each state will be on patrol. A bill to revamp the national organ donation system is expected to be signed into law by President Biden. Once signed, it will be the first time the National Organ Procurement and Transplant Network is open up to organizations other than the nonprofit United Network for Organ Sharing. The hope is to cut down on long wait lists for transplants. CBS is cutting back and now plans to lay off around 5,000 people. The company says jobs affected are primarily corporate positions and likely will not hit customer service jobs in its stores and pharmacies. It may not be long before electric cars are carrying a key component from an oil giant. ExxonMobil is in talks with companies like Tesla and Ford to become a supplier of lithium for batteries. Exxon is making moves into the lithium business. It already owns 100,000 acres in Arkansas that has deposits of the metal. More tough times for malls across the country. Moody's Analytics says more than $14 billion worth of loans backed up by mall properties are coming due in the next year. But in many cases, the malls themselves are worth millions less than the loans they're backing. It's time to say goodbye to the incandescent light bulb. Starting today, retailers can no longer sell them for common household use. You'll now be able to buy online only LED bulbs, which use less energy, cost more than the old bulbs, but they last up to 50 times longer. That's today's Nine at Nine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.